Hi, I'm Drew Flex. Welcome back to the channel. Join me as I'm fighting cancer with fitness. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share and press the bell button so you can get the latest updates and notifications from me, Drew Flex. Today, I'm back at Body Zone Gym in Bracknell and today we're going to do an upper body workout with a Swiss bar. This should be interesting. So, without further ado, let's do this. For today's workout, we're going to do overhead press, incline bench press, bent over row, bicep curl, and laying triceps extension. For the overhead press, to begin this exercise, I'm starting off by taking the Swiss bar off the rack and having it pressed up against my chest with my palms on the second attachment for your hands to fit in. With the Swiss bar in position, I'm lifting it above my head, locking out my arms and holding it for a few seconds, squeezing my back and shoulders tightly, then returning this back to the starting position. You may notice because of the odd shape of the Swiss bar, it's a bit more difficult than doing this with a conventional barbell. So the balance may be a bit wobbly and you'll see that theme repeated throughout all of these exercises. The Swiss bar itself, it weighs a bit more than a standard barbell as well. Um, the standard barbell is around 20 kilos and the Swiss bar, if I'm not mistaken, is between 25 to 30 kilos. So it's shape and the weight actually make it a more difficult bar to maneuver. So you're not gonna see perfect form on a lot of these exercises here. However, I've managed to do this for two sets of 10 reps and one set of six. And you may see that on my sixth rep on the third clip that I have faltered slightly, but um, there we go, got it done. For the incline bench press, I've set up my incline bench at a 45 degree angle. Then I lay flat on my back on the bench with my feet firmly planted on the floor, gripping the Swiss bar with a slightly wider than shoulder width apart grip. I lifted the bar off the rack and held it above my chest. That was my starting position. Slowly lowering the bar until it almost touches me and feeling a stretch in my chest. However, with the shape of this bar, um, it's a bit more awkward to try and get that bar to almost touch my chest. Also with the weight that I put on here, um, but holding the position for a count nonetheless. I returned it back to the starting position and I repeated this for the first set of 10 reps, second set of eight and the third set of six reps. I think the pins that I set behind me, I actually had the chair back a bit too much for the third set, so it was slightly jarring me that on some of the return reps, it was slightly dragging against the pins. Um, however, I managed to finish all three sets nonetheless. For the bent over roll, beginning this exercise, I stood in front of the Swiss bar with my feet shoulder width apart, and bending over until my back was parallel with the floor. Grabbing the Swiss bar with a shoulder width grip, then I've lifted the bar off the rack and this was my starting position. I took the bar and raised it towards my chest using controlled motion and continued until the bar was almost touching my lower chest. Held this position for a few seconds, squeezing my back muscles and then lowering the bar back to the starting position. This one I was happy to have done for three sets of 10 reps. This was actually the easiest exercise that I found to do using this Swiss bar. found the bicep curl to be one of the more challenging moves with this Swiss bar. I started off by standing up straight with my feet shoulder width apart, keeping my knees slightly bent and my abs drawn in tight. Grabbing the Swiss bar with the palms facing towards each other grip as you do with this bar, I was lowering my arms down to my thighs fully and bending slightly at my elbows as that was my starting position. Slowly raising the Swiss bar towards my upper chest, I was squeezing my muscles and isolating the biceps. 
I held this position for a count and then returned it back to a starting position. I did the first set with 10 reps and sets two and three with eight reps each. For the laying triceps extension, I actually found this not too bad an exercise despite how daunting it actually looks on camera. I lay down on the bench with my head at one end, I grasp the Swiss bar with the palms facing towards each other. Um, I actually used the narrowest grip that I could find on this and it actually proved to be quite comfortable. Um, I moved my arms beyond my head and kept them in a straight line and then bending only at my elbows, I slowly lowered and raised the Swiss bar. I managed to do this for my first set of 10 reps and then sets two and three of eight reps each. That's it, that's all we've got time for today. I hope you enjoyed the content. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share and press the bell button so you can get the latest updates and notifications from me, Drew Flex. I am Drew Flex and until next time, stay flexing. If you're a fitness enthusiast looking for a personal trainer, gym or dojo, head over to sushifitness.com.